I'd just like to uh, confirm that the power of love, the power of faith, uh, uh, is the most beautiful and most powerful power in the universe. And uh, the, the more we enter into the goodness of the universe, the less we think about all the other things and the more beautiful life becomes and so everything has a purpose and a use and everything has a reason there's always a reason and a lesson to learn and we're on a big everlasting learning curve and right now you know we have all this pollution and stuff and more people on the planet but the solution is here and the, the solution really it's amazing is all the stuff that we don't want it's all that trash that we don't really know what to do with can actually solve the problems of the world. Hello! Ha is, is it 50 pesos for a tour? I mean, it's, it's very nice to have all the water around and everything, but it's very hard to get the plants to start growing, you know? And is that what holds uh, everything together? Yeah, what that's where it backs in like uh, old fruit and vegetable sacks. Yeah. And then uh, I lay that with plywood that I find from all over the place. And what happens is the plywood and the pallets that I use to put on the top, that rots away as well. So I have to keep putting new pieces on until the root. So it depends. If the trees are growing fast, then actually uh, I don't need to change the wood and it just turns into a natural piece of land. So this is starting to be more and more natural. I never need to change anything. The sand is all locked in with roots. You feel the roots yes, there? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So it just becomes like a piece of land, but it's totally floating. You can see the movement there, look. Yep. And how long has this been? This is six years. It took me about five months just to get enough done to put the tree on. You know what I mean? But when it like this, all of this area doesn't need any maintenance. It just, it's gone natural. I don't need to do anything. I, I use all types of trash. So I, do, I use the trash that floats for, for underneath, you know, to lift the iron. Yeah. Yogurt cartons, plastic bags, glass bottles, tin cans, everything goes inside the same bag. And what I do is I lay it, you see one through here, I lay it over the top and I lift. So I make it thicker on the top. And then I put more earth on the top. Right. And, and it gets two levels, it's like a, like a lasagna. You have trash and then you have earth and then you have trash and earth again. So the top earth here, all of these and this, this is no salt in here. So this uh, is going to, uh, this, this I can grow anything, you see. This is rooting through the whole of the floor here. It's very, very strong indeed. Yeah, I put, I put um, some earth on the top. Mm -hmm. And then we have this, all this concrete is on the top as well. Right. And it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, very strong. In the morning you wake up and you ask for your coffee or whatever. <laughs> Give me my granola. <laughs> Ground control to make it come. You've really made the grave. I just called to say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Enter strangers, leave as friends. Aww. Yeah, little kitchen here, fridge and everything from the solar panels. Up of Isla Mujeres. Yes. Now, this is probably the most amazing island on the planet, and I'll tell you why. First of all, it's the only island on the planet called Woman. But on the very nose here, there's a temple. It's a fertility temple. Oh, really? Yeah. So, in the Mayan times, thousands of years ago, women, young women who wanted to have a baby would come here on a boat with a Mayan shaman woman and they'd go in the temple there and this point here is the most eastern point of the whole of middle America. That woman who's in that temple would see the sun first out of everybody. It's on the third eye of the fish, a temple. That is our temple as well. So it's got a mouth and they've built an all-inclusive restaurant on there where you eat as much as you want. Yeah, How right. crazy is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so all the people live in the body and all the parties are on the tail where the tail moves and everybody's <laughs> dancing. So it's freaking crazy. This is the belly. Look, you can see a normal fish is like that, right? Mm -hmm. A pregnant fish is like that. So what's this? This is the, this is the womb of the fish and that's where we are. That's, right that's where, where the captain told me, the captain of the water, 
the port captain said do it in that lagoon and so I'm right here that's where we are now and how are you going to power it to um, well, to move it be, around it's got to be powered with sails and and flippers that work on the tail underneath the water so every time the wave passes it pushes it forward like this it's gonna be like a double flipper underneath so it's a wave powered flipper okay so you would you would be able to steer it yeah and there'll be rudders well you could steer it with the sails yeah but to get it out of the lagoon it'll have to be pulled with boats uh -huh. this is a biodegradable toilet it's always with leaves on the top right so if, if you know if we do something in there a few more leaves on the top and then when it comes too high uh -huh. i have this thing here with the wood on the bottom right uh, outside there's a cloth and i can take it out and it's soil for the garden so it fantastic the garden yeah <laughs> and here for washing your hands yeah this lovely oh that's just that's just beautiful yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, even a little air conditioner, but eventually I'm going to make air conditioner from the waves. One of those holes outside, when the wave passes, the water goes up and down. I've seen it. Because of the weight of the island presses on the water and the wave comes under and it pushes up. So if you put a platform over one of those holes, every time the wave comes up, you can push air cooled by the water through tubes. And the tubes, look, I've already started making them. See there? Oh right. This is made out of plastic bottles with cloth around. You just put a cloth in there to stop it. When you take the cloth out, the wave pushes the air out here. Oh, that's a, shower there. that's a lovely shower. Thank you. <laughs> just many years ago, I was uh, very concerned about just the whole world, the war and, uh, and then the overpopulation, you know, more people. And uh, I was just thinking, what is the future? You Protect know? the nature, you know, uh, try and let everything live, give everything respect as much as possible you can make an electric charge out of trash do you know that this is very good to put in the documentary but what you do is um, take aluminium cans any type and you just punch a hole in the bottom and put a copper pipe through it and s s squash it onto the copper pipe so you're now making like a, 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 a chain with on a copper pipe uh -huh. on a copper uh, wire uh -huh. you have these cans squashed on it right you drop that in salt water right off the island here and then you have any copper any type of copper the same thing just you can have just a thick copper wire in the water and just join the two together and you get you get a voltage from that a direct current it's like a one volt or something like that but if you have 12 of those you can just put them straight in and power things from 12 volt direct current or you could store it in a battery and then you can use an inverter and take it up to 220 volts or 120 volts so when you have a floating island you create your own microclimate yes um, I've noticed that on this island as well even but it needs to be further away from the land and bigger and what happens is over a piece of land the air is warmer. Over the ocean, it's cooler because the sunlight goes into the water and doesn't, and, and some of it reflects away. But the, uh, the, the when it's got nature over an island, the sun is trapped and the photons are all, and the leaves are asking for the sun. Mm -hmm. Give me sun, and the sun goes in the leaf, and the air gets warm, and the air is trapped around, and so it doesn't move. The wind doesn't move as much. So what happens is the air gets warmer and it lifts up and it expands and it, 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 it uh, goes higher but it goes higher it, because of the spin of the planet it goes like a spiral up so if you have an island big enough floating on the ocean and you get the sunlight and you put in the middle of the island a big satellite dish with mirrors in it yes you you can focus the sun to make a hot spot in the middle of the island and create your own tornado then you could create your own cloud over the island if you wanted to you can work with that but you can definitely create your own tornado and it'll stay in the middle because the air will come around like this and go in the middle and then suck up on the hot spot and you could even fly the island like that <laughs> yeah because it's like a big frisbee you, know, you have to be careful I mean you, you know you want to be able to get down again maybe you know but um, uh, but if you have the sails that you're using to move your island and you just put it over the mirrors on the satellite dish, you stop, you break up the hotspot. It's like the center of a hurricane is broken. 
then the wind slows down. So you can slow it down, you can speed it up. So you can go up and down. Oh, you could have fantastic. islands all over the planet in different levels, like this flying. <laughs> with with plants on them and everything. It's all possible. Okay. How would this island deal with a hurricane? Well, I've been through one on this one. Actually, that's how I lost my last island to a hurricane. Hurricane, yeah, that's the worst thing, of course. But, well, not necessarily. I mean, a tsunami, uh, a meteorite comes straight on <laughs> you. Know, <laughs> the whole planet explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities come, or someone drops a bomb on you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they come and kill you and take your island off you. It, it, it would need to be bigger and the roots have to be go, going in and I want to get a point on it so it's going to be in the shape of a fish. Right. And it will always face the waves so the point, the waves separate. So it look like a, a boat as well? Yeah, like right. a boat. So it, let's say you're not moving, uh, you know, and you just got an anchor. You have an anchor so that you always spin. So you spin towards the tail is back here. Right. And the front is there. And, and the, an the anchors are here. So if the wind comes this way, the whole thing goes like that. And there, the, the front is going to have a lot of rocks on, uh -huh. you know. So it smashes, the wave can smash over a bit, but it rises up on the wave. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually a flexible thing. Like if it breaks apart, they're still floating both. You can pull it back together again and tie it up and then it, it joins again. It's repair, self-repairing. What about um, the bottles breaking up? Like, uh, you notice that when plastic oh, is floating very around... very good point. When it's in darkness, it's okay. It's the UV rays that breaks the plastic. But when it's underneath, and especially with roots around it, each bottle is separated by a root. So the bottles don't even touch each other. There's no friction, even. So they're totally preserved. Could be thousands of years or more. Oh, so love me, Give your trash to me for my floating island to sail the sea. Oh, please give your trash to me. <laughs> Help me for my floating island to sail the sea.